when you compare the 225 to the MP20 HMB, we started at a different beginning point. With the, with the HMB before, we almost had a golf club that lived as a set of irons, but also as a driving iron, where it almost lived in that no man's land of being good at both, but not perfect at either. With the 225, we started at those mid irons that have a very precise look that they need to speak to that better player. When you evolve up to the long irons, they got smaller, they got slimmer, they got sleeker, they got more iron-like and beautiful at address. However, the performance of them increased. We got thinner with the face. We put more tungsten on the toe and heel. And ultimately we made a smaller golf club that does even more. When you look at this set and how it flows from the long iron side to the mid to the short, you see a really nice progression. The long irons got smaller. Smaller instantly becomes a little bit scary when we're talking forgiveness, but we added more tungsten to the toe and the heel. So it got smaller, but it launches easier and it goes farther. On the mid iron side, we really refined those sizes and the shapes, the flow of the actual face gauge. What that does is it gives you a club that looks beautiful at address, and we actually flow the tungsten so that it, up to the seven iron, we have it on the toe and heel. And then the eight's an interesting one. The eight's that transition club where it's hollow, but there's no tungsten in it. That works its way down to a nine iron pitching wedge, gap wedge, that are a half hollow design. You have that grain flow forge 1025 in the face, neck, and back, and then we weld it on a back piece, so it's actually half hollow and got even smaller. It's really funny when we show people the 225 scoring irons right off the bat, because a lot of people confuse them with the muscle backs, with the 221s but the construction is different. These are a half hollow design. So even though they look really small at the dress, this pitching wedge, this nine iron, they are gonna launch a little bit higher. The 225 set's gonna be used differently for different players. If you're a high handicapper or a mid handicapper who wants more launch out of your irons, you'll play that 225 set from top to bottom. However, if you're somebody who just wants to get a little bit more launch out of your mid or long irons, that's where you can bring one of these irons into another set of 221s, 223s, and really help add forgiveness and add launch anywhere in the set. The 225 is interesting because not only does it give you more launch, but it gives you more ball speed as well. So it has that blade look, so a lot of really good players will look to it. But if you need a little bit more distance, you need that height, 225 is gonna deliver that.